We also have to talk about now former NFL player Henry Ruggs III, who has been booked in jail after being involved in a fatal car accident. According to TMZ, 23-year-old Tina Tinter died in the accident along with her dog after Henry's car ran into her at a high rate of speed. Shortly before the crash, Ruggs had been allegedly driving at 156 miles per hour in his Corvette with a blood alcohol level twice the Nevada legal limit. Court records show that Clark County first charged Ruggs with felony driving under the influence resulting in death and reckless driving. Prosecutors now intend to charge the once promising football player with additional felony counts of DUI and reckless driving both resulting in substantial bodily harm and possession of a firearm while under the influence, a misdemeanor. And you guys, that video right there was courtesy of TMZ Sports. So ladies, please share your thoughts on this situation. This is just- Totally preventable Oof. tragedy. Of course, reckless. It is so Selfish, reckless on reckless. so many levels. There is no reason on earth to be driving 156 miles per hour. Unless you're doing Indy 500, you're on a racetrack, there's absolutely no reason for it. And when I say it, the domino effect of all this, not only did Tina lose her life, his and girlfriend- her dog. And her dog. His girlfriend in the car, the mother of his three-year-old. So now he's going to jail. She's injured badly and she's in the hospital. And there's this three-year-old three little girl now like, her life has changed forever. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, why not take an Uber? Why not? Because grown Ask folk, a friend. you think you're invincible. You're 22 years old, you're at the yeah. NFL, you know, you're at the height. You, you're, uh, you, you got know, a Corvette. You are, you're in, on top of the world. And then this is when reality hits you. And this is the reason why we have to step back as a society and make sure we look at what we are doing to each other, because this is ridiculous. Let me just say this. I was talking about it to um, my niece, and she was saying, you know, when these NFL players, these young boys, get yes. all this money, no one talks to them about the responsibility of having so much money and taking care of your money. And maybe the flashy cars, I get it. I get it. That's your dream, you want a flashy car. But there's so much responsibility that I think needs to be taught to these young men. Yeah. I do you know? think that they do have some programs um, that they do try to talk to them and they do have some services to try to help these young Financial men. Financial guidance they just and don't want to listen. Sort. They just don't. I mean, it's oh quite evident. God. 156 miles per I mean, did you see how fast that thing That goes? is crazy. Call me later. Y'all know I don't drive. I did not even know that a car could go 150 miles. It depends yeah. on I the did car. not know. So that, that's why I'm saying it's a Corvette. My car can't go there. Guys, fast. the fastest <laughs> roller coaster in the whole world is at Six Flags, New Jersey. Yeah. And it goes 128 miles per hour. He actually was going 156 and wow. hit her at 127. Yep. The impact was at 127. Think of a, a roller coaster coming at you straight on. I the just, car I, went straight into flames. I, yeah. I, so crazy. I'm mortified because coming from the Bay, street racing is actually major all the time. It, it, it's like there's areas where it's just set up and you know what time to be there. And they do this on you know streets and, and they drag race. and. I, there, we, we have to educate. That's what I'm and saying. And get in there and be more law enforcing yes. when it comes to people having these ego trips about fast cars yes. on regular pedestrian streets and regular civilians driving home late at night. Like this, it, it, it has, we have to just have stricter enforced laws against it because I think and, that- And people also have, have to abide by those yes. laws yeah. too. And, and his, his intent was not to kill anybody. No, of course so not. So he won't have murder charges. This is a cautionary tale for the other, for yeah. the other young men that yeah, get all this money in flashy time. cars.